Hello everyone, this is Hiratmania. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest XI, Echoes of an Elusive Age. Previously, the party freed Phenomenon from the greedy grip of Avarith. They also returned Sun home to his da. Now we're on the way to Puerto Valor. so that Silvando can leave his parade in safe hands. Currently at the campsite in the coast of Valor. Head for Puerto Valor on the coast of Valor. A word, if you please. Yes, sir. Good question, Rab. South now to Puerto Valor. Hmm, a rock slide. There ain't no way through. Very well. So we'll have to go through this cave. Crimson Coral. Nothing new, it seems. Puerto Valor lies just beyond this hill. And there it is. <coughs> Puerto Valor once again. So strange. I thought I'd never see this place again, and yet here I am. Well, at least I came back with a bang. So you did. You go on ahead, honey. I need a second to compose myself. Do you now? Go and speak with Don Rodrigo. Don Rodrigo at his house in Puerto Valor. Precisely. Listen up, laddie. Is <laughs> there? Oh. Hey there, Sylv.
Hello again, Dave. Yeah. Wahoo! Fabulous indeed. Hooray, we're here. So, this is Zilv's hometown. Goodness me, who are these people? Hang on a minute. They're not evil. Aye, aye, aye. He serves the weak and challenges the strong. That's the pledge, all right. I... I never thought I would end up back here. <laughs> Look! There they are! Oh, they're not demons, sir. Well, this won't do, will it? Que? Quienes son? Who are they? So they are. Wow, these buildings are so beautiful. Come on, cheer up. No, please. Shiver, quiver. <laughs> no, not yet. It is time to make the world smile once more. Rat tat tat, boom boom boom. We're with you all the way, Silv. Good for you guys. <laughs> the bar of lag. Oh, that's bad. Oh, you can. Well, hello, senorita. You're not? Why? Yes, there are now better prizes available. What's all this commotion? No, it's not death. I wonder what is going on.
Hello, pup. It's them, my saviors. Your saviors? Oh, I see. Turn that frown upside down. The parade's in town. <laughs> oh, indeed. I... Musica Feliz. Happy music. Someone's still training. Hiya, Toma. Take that! Good for you! Now Don Rodrigo's villa! Buenos dias! Don Rodrigo is awake at last! Ah, that's good. No, not untoward. Hello, Cervantes. Very well. So into the Don's room. Don Rodrigo, it is I, Hendrik. It has been too long. Uh, uh, huh? Hendrik? <laughs> How many years has it been since you completed your training, eh? Come closer, caballero. <laughs> Let me see your face. I have heard many tales of your exploits. <laughs> to think that the great lump of meat who came to me all those years ago is now the hero of Eliador! <laughs> I had not expected to find you in such good spirits, my lord. As one who owes everything to your kind offices, it pleases me greatly. Alas, there has been precious little cause for mirth since last we met. Dundrasil fell, then Yggdrasil, and now the Lord of Shadows roams the land. Don Rodrigo and I have much to discuss. Perhaps you could go and fetch Silvando while we talk. Very well. Search Puerto Valor for Silvando. Oh, I. Indeed, Rab. A bookshelf. Ah, platinum plating. Platinum headgear. Platinum mail. Th 
Evanescent. Very well, my friend. The Lord of Shadows, see? Indeed not. Very well, Don. I hope so. Now let's see if we can find Silvando. These buildings are so beautiful. Oh, uh, where's Silvando, Dave? Okay. Ah, there he is. Down by the sea. What's up, Silv? Oh, hey, honey. I guess they sent you to fetch me, huh? It's so silly, I know. Here I am, happy to go put my neck on the line in the fight against the Lord of Shadows. And yet, the thought of facing Poppy makes me want to run away screaming. Seeing that boy and his father in Phnomnon made me think I could do it. That I could finally face him. But now I'm here, I... I'm so scared. You've heard what happened with me and him, I guess. Hendrik told you, huh? <laughs> it all seems so far away now. Even before I could walk, I was training to be a knight, you know? I would stay in Puerto Valor and follow in my father's footsteps. Then one day, the circus came to town. It was so, so fabulous. I can't even describe it. It was love at first sight. I knew from the second I walked into that tent that I'd found my calling. Getting up on that stage and making people happy, that was the life for me. But Papi, he wasn't so keen. A few plates got smashed the night I broke the news to him, let me tell you. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. Oh no, this was my calling. To make the whole world happy. I would be a knight in smiling armor! <sighs> he didn't have anything to say to me after that. That was when I knew that I had to go and prove to him that I meant what I said. So I left. And I haven't seen him since. Ah, oh, dear me, that got a bit long and emotional, huh? But it's made me feel a whole lot better. 
In fact, yes, let's do this. It's now or never. Let's go pay Papi a visit. Alrighty, Silvando. Go and speak with Don Rodrigo at his house. I bet. Good grief. All right, Sylv. So, back into the villa. Very well, Gonzales. Into the Don's room again. Uh, 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 hi, puppy. Caramba. <laughs> Norberto, you dare to show your face in my presence. Then you have come to tell me something, see? I, I'm so sorry, Papi. Sorry, 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 sorry. So, so sorry. Sorry? <laughs> what are you apologizing for, foolish boy? Huh? You have succeeded in making the world smile, see? Uh, not yet, Papi. Uh, then why are you here, hmm? Why did you come back if you have not yet done as you promised? You said you would do it, Norberto. You said you would make everyone happy. I did not raise you to be a failure. How dare you come to me and... Puppy! Easy there. 
Damn you, boy. If I were younger, I would put you over my knee. What kind of a knight makes an oath and does not fulfill it? Wait. Puppy, did you say knight? You still think of me as one? Oh, you have no idea how... Oh, thank you, Puppy. Thank you. I guess it wasn't very knightly of me to come back before I'd fulfilled my promise, huh? But I had a good reason. Mm -hmm. The Lord of Shadows. See? See? How can I make people happy if he is there making their lives miserable? It is impossible. Which is why I'm going to beat him. Only then can I fulfill my vow and make all the people of the world smile again. <laughs> Careful, boy! Do not promise to defeat Mordegon if you do not truly intend to do so. I will not have you break another oath. Of course, Papi. A knight's word is his bond. You taught me that. But there's just one teensy weensy little thing I need to ask you to do to help. I've picked up a few friends on my travels. They're kind of young and kind of innocent. They need a role model, you know? Someone to lead them. <laughs> you do not even need to ask, Norberto. A knight serves the weak untiringly. Or have you forgotten the pledge? <gasps> oh, Papi, really? Come on, Norberto. Of course, it will be my pleasure. Oh, aren't you just the sweetest, kindest father a boy could hope to have? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, darlings! Come say hello to your Tio Rodrigo! <laughs> oh, what a lovely bedroom. It's so big. Huh? Oh, don't tell me this is your dad, Sylve. He's awfully manly. I'll feel safe with you looking after me, Mr. Rodrigo. Explain yourself. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> now, Papi, let's just pop this on. Get your hands off of me! Core blimey. <clears throat> Hurts your foolishness, boy! I did not agree to this! Oh, don't be like that, Papi! How can you lead my little band of boys if you don't look the part, huh? You promised! Didn't you always teach me that a knight's word is his bond? Huh? <laughs> Head outside. Sorry, Don.
Oh, yes. Precisely. I just knew Sylve's dad would be lovely. What a man. I just love what they've done with the place. Oh, indeed. Look at the size of this place! <laughs> Magnifico! Yes, he does look a lot like Sylve in that getup. Anything new in here? Nothing new, it seems. Boom, boom. Rat tat tat. <laughs> okay, what is going on? Quite remarkable. Oh, yes. Ooh, talk about glamorous. Maybe Sylve's mum. Aw. Oh, I'm useless at goodbyes. Yahoo! Now to head out. Aw, oh, poor guys. Soldiers of Smile, you serve my puppy now. You must do as he says. Do not fail me. <laughs> Please, Sylv, don't go. Don't leave us. 
Darlings, it breaks my heart to say goodbye. Truly, it does. But we have to be strong. As soon as Mordegon is defeated, I'll be right back with you. I'll be home before you know it. You'll see. And no matter how far I go, no matter how hard it gets, I'll always be with you. Always. Oh, Sylph, we'll be with you too. Just say the words and we'll come running. And so Vando now knows, hit parade. This game's version of Golden Oldies. Thanks so much for all your help, darling. I'm all yours now, I promise. Sylvander rejoins the party. Welcome back, Sylv. The Salty Stallion is all yours too, of course. She's anchored off to the east of here. With a ship at our disposal, other places will be accessible to us. Perhaps now we can seek out your friends in Arborea. Yes, indeed. Welcome back to the party, Silvando. At level 38, the Spreader of Smiles. Not with Oomphal yet. A new pet power with Davalos and Hendrik. Arise! And hit parade with Davalos. Pirate's head is better. All right, Silvando. And 19 skill points. Alright, Sylv. I think I'm p I think we'll go up into swords now. Get this one. Oh. Alrighty. Time to head to the shore and board the boat. There's old Dave. Hello, enemies.
Octopot, and a Murking. Nicely done, Hendrik. Goodbye, Murking. Dropped a chest with a red eye. Hello again, Dave. Head for Arborea, seek your scattered party members, and find out how to defeat the Lord of Shadows. Listen. <laughs> Indeed. Certainly. Oh, oh no. I hope so. Indeed, Silv. Patched up, huh? Back aboard the stallion. Good to see you too, Dave. Is that so? So, Northeast, board the Salty Stallion and visit the Warrior's Rest in Old Svard's Rust. Indeed. I must speak with you. First, let's make a short side trip to this island, the Insula Australis. The Insula Australis again. Ah, uh, there's a merman here. Believe it, buddy. The sea's south of Svart Rust, huh? Very well.
Hmm, is that so? I do too. And let's also stop off in Gondolia. Gondolia again. <laughs> I must speak with you. Now it's time to cause another price war between this guy and his brother. Very well, signore. A special item from Heliodor, huh? The armor of Sir Hendrik. Well, well. Fifty-two thousand? No. Now to chat with his brother, down this way. Oh, really? Hmm, fifty thousand. No, thank you. Back to his brother now. Prego. No, thank you. Hello again. The same accusation. No, thank you. Hello again. No, not yet. Ten thousand. Nope, not yet.
Hello again. Five thousand. That's more like it. Not yet, though. Oh, yes. No, thank you. So, let's go buy it. For five grand. Yep. Hendrix Armor. <laughs> so we now have Hendrix Armor. Changes his appearance. Very nice. Some folks over this way. Fishy people, huh? They're kind of in trouble. Santo Cielo! My goodness! A hex of Bon Alizarin, or curse or worse. I think I saw them. Indeed, my friend. Certainly. Gulp? Certainly. Hey, boys. He's too dangerous. Molto pericoloso. Hello again, Placido. No need for that, my friend. I help you, Tisavero. Good lad. Now then, back to camp to rest.
four back to town. This guy has a quest available, and there's also a quest available back in Phnom Nam. I think we'll get to those next time. For now, we'll spend the night and do some questing next time. Fancy a quick prey, boss? This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.